What you are seeing is a flavour of colour. Hiya folks! Welcome back to another terrific Tugs video on Hazel Wally. Today, I want to go over a short video about one of the coolest pieces of Tugs media. And that is the publicity packet. So, without any time to waste, let's talk about one of the very rare pieces of Tugs media. The Tugs publicity packet. Publicity packets, best known as press and media kits, is basically a promotional pack meant to explain how a franchise project is set to aim for, such as its goals and what it tries to achieve. Tugs received the packet sometime in 1989, as there's a letter included which is dated May of that year. However, this packet is known for containing some very interesting stuff within it. Similar to the Tugs promo, better known as the sizzle reel, the majority of the images are used are from Sunshine and Jinx. In fact, I consider it to be the print equivalent of the promo video, as it basically does similar ideas in terms of being a promotional piece for Tugs. While we are yet to receive a full rip of the promo, the publicity packet is publicly available. In fact, in the description, I will link you guys to the Tugs wiki page for it. So. With that being said, let's dive into each page and see what was so interesting about them. The first page of the publicity packet is iconic to Tugs fans. It depicts the original logo for the series, plus some fancy bits of decoration around the art. This logo was notably seen in the Tugs promo and on the label of one of the US dub tapes. Above the logo is the text that simply reads out, Tugs. The next notable page is the good stuff. Here contains a blurb about the series, which partially paraphrases the promo. While it briefly explains who the staff lead is, the real meat and potatoes of this page are the collage of screenshots and pictures from the series. All coming from Sunshine and Jinx, which again is eerily similar to how the promo presented itself. There are a few notable images, not seen anywhere else. This picture of the Star Tugs docking the Duchess is interesting, given that it's not based on Sunshine, as Big Mac is present. Also, in a higher quality picture we have, courtesy of Insert Titled Hair Productions, reveals that Hercules was also seen in this promotional picture, albeit it is somewhat hard to see. But possibly, the most interesting one of the lot is these two pictures of the Zero Switches right here. These pictures came from a deleted scene from Jinx, where Zip and Zug tease the stars were towing Boomer, and claim that Boomer is another dud tuck. Footage of the scene is present in the promo video. Both the footage and the picture of Zip actually, depicts an otherwise unused face mask of him, known as his grimacing face mask. Most likely to go along with the very misty atmosphere of the scene. Otherwise, the picture is practically identical to how it looks in the promo. Zug's picture is interesting, as here, Zug is seen from the front, but in the promo, it's a panning shot, as the Lucky's Yard crew pushes forward with Zug's rear appearing in the foreground. It's possible, of course, that the picture would have represented an alternate version of the shot, but until we know more, this is purely speculation. Lastly, we cannot forget about these pictures of Tencent's Furious face mask, which is missing its eyelids. This picture appears to predate the face mask test for Tencent, as in those pictures, he has the eyelids, which places the timeline of this image sometime around these photos at Shepparton. How this ended up in the publicity packet is still unknown. Next, we got a letter from Top Hat, sent to a child all the way back in 1989. Basically, he goes on about the Star Tugs, and more importantly to him, about himself. It's a very cute and hilarious letter to read, so I definitely recommend you read it. There is also a follow-up letter as well, directly sent from David Mitten himself, where he basically mentions about how difficult it was to follow up from Thomas, and basically just talks about general stuff from the series. These letters were most likely included as testimony reception from the series. Still though, the fact that these were included are incredible time capsules, and better help determine when the publicity packet was produced. The next two pages are not really worth talking about too much here. But the first one in the scan order on the wiki is what I presume to be the back of the packet or something. 
The next one is what I can presume is a badge or pin? I don't know. And again, I don't know much about it, but what I do know is that it uses the prototype logo. Ha! Here's another good one. Information on the Clearwater Periscope lens system, including a behind the scenes photo of the episode Sunshine. According to the wiki, the date on the camera is January 13th, 1988. A fascinating look into the show's production for sure. The next two pages are again basically just some more licensee promotional jazz. The first one discloses the company that handed out the Tugs license, plus a little blurb on the series. The other one is more of a promotional blurb that says nothing new. One of our last pages, unfortunately looking a little scrunched up. It shows a lot of maritime flags, including the flags for the Star Tugs and the Z Stacks. Fun fact! Did you know that Grampus wears the maritime flag for the number 8? This makes sense, given that he's the 8th member of the Star Tug and Marine Company. Erroneously though, Grampus wears this flag before becoming a part of the stars. And lastly, there are two pages themed to the Tugs fleet. The first one I'll cover is the Z-Stack page, which for some reason features Lily Lightship and Grampus. Still however, these pictures are really cool and show off more rare promotional pictures from the series. My favourite picture from this page is the Zip and Zug one. It's a very cosy looking picture. Gotta love those wintry sets that they use in the show. Also, another fun fact, Zebedee and Zack's personalities were swapped in the packet. This is most likely an error, because knowing that the publicity packet was made in 1989 makes this not seem like an early idea sneaking into the packet that mostly resembles the final show better. Anyways, the next page is themed to the Star Tugs including a high-quality version of the Star Tugs at the Up River set promotional picture. Again, there's lots of rare promotional pictures here as well, including copies of Tencent and Sunshine's Up River area pictures, and even more interestingly, a promotional picture of OJ and Hercules from Munitions! We don't have a lot of Munitions pictures out there, so it's great that the packet includes it. And with that, I presume this is it. This is the end of the publicity packet. So with that being said, let's resurface our way out of here. So that, my friends, is the Tugs publicity packet. What an interesting piece of Tugs media. I am very glad we have it available for us to see online. Again, to see the scanned pictures, it's up on the Tugs Wiggy. So hopefully, we have learned something new today. And even if you knew all of this, I'm sure you still had lots of fun watching. Remember to have a tongue-tastic day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!